I'm here at the Acura NSX factory outside of Marysville, Ohio, and I'm going to get to take a tour and bring you all along. Acura has dumped a ton of money into this to the tune of $70 million. That's right, 70 million bucks to renovate this building and bring in a whole bunch of new manufacturing processes. It's gonna make this car super amazing, we all hope. Now we all know we had the old NSX, which really had a enthusiast bent to it. Everybody loved it, everybody loved to drive it. So let's hope that this new one is going to bring some of that passion back into the brand. So I'm here with Jeff Aino. He is basically the lead assembly chief grand fromage of yeah. the new Acura NSX. And there's something a little bit different in how you put this new NSX together. Can yeah. you tell me about it? Well, really, it's all about the manufacturing technicians and how we are building this car to be 100% quality confirmation. You know, how do we actually take a car that was a game changer before and do it again? Right. You know, this car is so unique. It's living up to every expectation we ever set forth. You know, we had a pretty high bar too when you th stop and think about what they wanted to achieve 100% mm -hmm. quality, uh, quality confirmation, uh, really, really fast supercar. Um, so, yeah, we've done a lot to make sure that the plant does what it's supposed to do. But in terms of how the car is physically put together, mm -hmm. I mean, you guys are putting all, you're putting the engine in, you're yeah. putting all the components yeah. in. Yeah before you put the body on it. Yes, ma'am. So when we put the, so right now when we get the, the body from weld, it's just a, basically a frame, right? Okay. And we put all the exterior panels on in the assembly. So it's kind of one of the first things that I, I've ever experienced something like that, where I have to take the rear fenders, for example, and put on an assembly. So we're using uh, glue or urethane, if you will, to install a lot of the exterior panels. And then a lot of the other panels, we're using uh, fixtures mm -hmm. instead of robots to install the rear fenders or the front fenders or the doors. So in other cars, when uh, when it comes to assembly, it's all like you get the car and it's got the doors on it, it's got yep. the hood on it, it's got all of that, and then you put everything yeah. else on around that. This time you guys yeah. are kind of doing it inside out, yeah. where you put, put the guts in it first and then put the body on it. Yeah, so true. And the reason for that is we're trying to guarantee quality. So when that car comes to assembly, there's no exterior panels on it. Paint paints a very pristine exterior finish, mm -hmm. and we want to make sure that we we uh, we preserve that finish through assembly. So we put the exterior panels on the very last process in the assembly, which helps guarantee uh, chip scratch and deform, but also allows us to make sure all the parts are perfect after the car's assembled. So do you think that this kind of assembly, this order of operations of assembly, is going to trickle down to other Acura uh, vehicles? You know, it's really too early to tell. <laughs> I, I, I love what it does for us here. Yeah. You know, we're really focusing on and trying to make it the best it possibly can be. And a lot of the things we're doing here are all about trickle down to other manufacturers, to other parts of the Acura division. So I'm hoping we can see more of that. And the assembly line is mostly done by hand, mostly done by machine. Yep. What is how? What's the breakup there? So right now, our we're a very, very low volume, uh -huh. uh, low uh, automation, if you will. And what you'll find is all the bolts in the assembly we hand start into uh, aluminum. Then we take and bring them up to nominal torque with a with a tool, and then we torque them up with an ST wrench. So okay. we guarantee our torque with that ST wrench. But humans are doing that, not machines. We use we only have one robot in assembly, and it's to put the urethane onto the exterior panels. Everything oh, okay. else is okay. done through my human beings, my manufacturing technicians, we call them. And so how long does it take for one car to get through all of the assembly stations? So right, so right now in assembly, uh -huh. from start to finish, it's about 14 hours. Each process is about 62 minutes long. Okay. So, you know, in comparison to another, like, high volume factory, that's about a 59 second, 54 second process. Here I'm looking at a 62 minute process. Wow. That's so, over an hour. Yeah, from minutes to hours. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and that technician's installing so many different parts, too. Yeah. So then we use a, our interactive operation standard, our VizOps, we call it, Visual Interactive Operation uh -huh. Standards, which allows us to keep track of what that person's doing. So we make sure we get every part on the car just right. So now my producer Nick and I are having a little bit of an argument. Okay. I personally like the blue one. He uh, likes the red one. Can uh, you? Can you? I really like the blue one, Emmy. See, he likes the blue one. <laughs> I do. I really like the blue one. Thank you so much, Jeff, for taking You're the time so to talk to me. I really appreciate it. You're very welcome. Thank you for having me. So you see the NSX behind me. It's going through part of their quality control. And right now they put it on this dyno. They test out for the speedometer. They test the turbos. They test the brake force distribution. They test the parking brake. And they'll also put it into reverse for a minute. So it's going to go through all of these tests. And then it will come over here to this lift. It will get raised up. They'll check the under panels. And then it'll go into the final room for a little bit of wiggly wiggly testing as if it were on a road in real world conditions. Well, there you have it. It's a backstage look at a very special and very expensive building, but check it out. They're gonna be turning out these guys, the new Acura NSX. Isn't she beautiful? 
You know, they used to call the NSX the new sports experiment, but I think with all this, we'll just call it the new sports experience. That's it for today with Roadshow. I'm Emmy Hall. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.